Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking, feeling about you? What are their intentions towards you? How do they view you or this connection? And what do they wish they could tell you? Tell me about Aries, Spirit. What are Aries energies in this connection? What are Aries energies in this connection? Oh, it's way too many. Just want one for Aries. What are they thinking or feeling about this other person? Angel of love. Okay, so I feel like there's feelings here. Oops. If I could get myself together. <laughs> Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with. What are their energies at this time? What are they thinking or feeling for Aries? Angel of Balance. Interesting. What's going on in this connection, Spirit, for Aries? Appreciation. I'm getting that some of you... Um, We'll see, obviously, when I clarify further, but my the first messages that I'm getting here is almost like you want to be noticed, you want to be seen, like almost like someone is not really paying attention to you or noticing you or something like that. So let's see, let's get some clarif clarifiers here, Spirit. For Aries, tell me more about these energies. Aries. Tell me about Angel of Love. Tell me about Angel of Love. Nine of Swords Reverse. So overcoming some sort of fear regarding love. Tell me about Angel of Balance. Knight of Pentacles, wow. This is a, an offer that's slow in coming, but it's it's definitely on its way. Some sort of opportunity, finances. Normally I don't get finances with that card, but I am in this. It's almost like this person's trying to get their finances in order. Tell me about appreciation. Spirit, what is this appreciation energy about? Ten of Swords Reverse. Wow, so something difficult, some sort of difficult ending took place already, I feel. There's been some sort of disconnect between you and this person, Aries, for the Aries that I'm talking to. Obviously, you know, the reading will not resonate for all Aries, but this particular reading is about a situation or a connection that has gone through some sort of ending in the past, or this is like happening right now. So let's get into the tarot. Let's see. Now, Aries, I have you on this side and I have your person on the other, but you can flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Spirits, angels, guides, what messages do you have for Aries? What messages do you have for Aries? Look at that. Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. These are these two cards right here. What messages do you have? Okay. For Aries. Tell me about Aries. What energies are they bringing to this connection spirit? The High Priestess Reverse. Nine of Swords. There's a Nine of Swords. Maybe you're appearing on the outside like you're not really worried. But I feel like there's been a lot of worry here, a lot of stress. Because of something that came out or something that you realized. 
Tell me more about Aries. Six of Pentacles. Give and take. Queen of Swords reverse. I don't think this person has been fair to you. I think this has been unbalanced. The situation that's been mostly off balance here. Aries. And for some reason, I don't know, it's it's almost like the situation is, is getting to the point where it's affecting you emotionally, possibly even physically. Sleepless nights, worries. Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with. What are their energies? This person that Aries is dealing with, Spirit. Three of Cups, Reverse Ten of Wands. So there's some sort of interference that appears on your person's side. And I feel like it's weighing down this connection. It's like you both are carrying some sort of uh, burden. Yours, I feel, is more emotional, Aries. I think this person actually has like a lot on their plate. We'll see. Tell me more about this person. Ten of Pentacles reverse. There could be a broken commitment here or a marriage or a situation with a family that's not doing so well. This could also be financial difficulties. Because remember, I thought of finances up here, which I normally don't with the Knight of Pentacles, but I did this time. What are the mutual energies? I mean, what, are, what is going on in this connection? What are the mutual energies here? And Aries, remember that this reading will not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate at all for you, check out my playlist for Aries or your other placements if they're more prominent in your birth chart. If it does resonate, please let me know in the comments. Hang my reverse. Four of Swords. So this is someone that's not, there's nothing going on in this connection. No movement, possibly little communication. A lot of thinking, but no actual like action here. Can I get one more for this connection? What are the mutual energies here? Knight of Swords reverse, Seven of Pentacles reverse. I feel like there's, um, if there is communication, I feel like it's very difficult communication or bad communication in the sense that someone's not really either communicating clearly or they're not telling you everything, or there's like verbal conflict. Someone's wondering if this has been just a waste of their time, if they invested in the wrong thing. A lot of time I feel has passed, at least for me as a reader, the Seven of Pentacles reverse. For someone to get to this point, there's, there's time that has already happened. You know, you can't feel like your time has been wasted unless you've spent a lot of time on something. So Seven of Swords, very interesting. Something sneaky and then I have a three of pentacles reverse. There is some sort of interference here, I think. I'm not sure what it is. I think it has to do with, could be finances for a lot of you or another family situation. This person could already be in a marriage. Let's clarify. Let me clarify these energies. For Aries. I feel like some of you are looking at this person's social media or your social media friends, like DMs, something like that. It's for just some of you, but I do feel it. And I feel like others of you, there's been some ghosting going on here. Let's see. The High Priestess Reverse. Why is this here? Why is the High Priestess Reverse here, Spirit? Six of Cups wanted to come out. This is about something that already happened, I feel. Tell me more about the High Priestess Reverse. Something came out about the past or about children. Queen of Pentacles. You could have found out that this person was already in a commitment. Perhaps you were in a commitment here. Tell me more about the High Priestess Reverse. I 
feel like for others of you, you've been very generous with this person. I don't know in what way, but you've been generous. Hangman reverse again. This is some someone that is unable or unwilling to, to uh, become unstuck from a situation. Um, they're not able to really look at things from a different angle. Uh, they are unwilling to sacrifice the hangman reverse. You know, I feel like them getting out of this situation, and this could be you as well, Aries, getting out of a certain situation, um, there would be a sacrifice. And someone I feel is hesitating a little bit too much. It's almost like you've been giving a lot, but someone isn't willing to give you, you know, even half of that. And that's why the Six of Pentacles is here. Tell me about the Nine. Okay. Lovers and Six of Swords Reverse. Gemini Energy. Hmm. I wonder if you are wanting this person to return to your connection in some way. Because I feel like there's been some sort of an ending here. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Ten of Cups. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. It's like you're worried. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like this is really affecting you here. I feel like you're worried about things not working out the way that you imagined. I feel like emotionally you are all in, even though there's trust issues or possibly um, this has been something that where you've held on for a while. The Nine of Wands reverse. Your health could be affected. I don't know why I keep getting that. For some of you, I feel like this is like anxiety to like the max. Where like you're not doing well emotionally. For others of you, I feel like you have been almost to the verge of giving up. But you haven't because of this. Because of this idea that you have of a Ten of Cups. Either with this person or just in your life in general. If this person has a family, you're thinking about that and it's with anxiety. Or are you thinking about your family with anxiety here? Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Can get one more, please? Seven of Wands. Uh, you could have blocked this person or they could have blocked you. Maybe they stopped talking to you or perhaps this has just been an ongoing fight you know almost like you're you're trying to fight for something that in the back of your mind you fear you have fear that it's already over that there is no coming back this could be some sort of resistance in in, in a different way almost like maybe you're pretending like you don't care You're resisting the feelings that you feel. Maybe on the outside you appear to be unbothered. This is a very specific message. Let me know if this is resonating down in the comments. But I feel like there's some sort of resistance here either on your part or on this other person's part. Why is the Six of Pentacles down here? Why is the Six of Pentacles down here? Seven of Cups reverse. Why is the Six of Pentacles down here? Two of Wands. This is about a choice. Yeah, Two of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Seven of Cups Reverse. This is about a choice. It's almost like you're wondering who's going to get chosen or, or what path you need to choose here. 
I feel like you are analyzing the situation. Maybe you're not seeing it very clearly, but you're thinking about it. I think for a lot of you, Aries out there, um, you're wondering how much longer you can hang on here. Perhaps some of you feel juggled like you're just another option to this person and that's not fair to you. Tell me about the Three of Cups reverse. Why is the Three of Cups reverse? Justice, wow, Libra energy. Angel of Balance, Balance here. The Moon, Pisces energy, what? Maybe this is what came out, that this person had some sort of interference here with the Moon. Maybe there was something you didn't know, something this person didn't say. Maybe they were trying to keep something hidden from you regarding an interference. And an interference can be anything. You know, this third party energy could be another person, like a partner, it could be a family member, a coworker, a boss. It could be long distance, career issues, finances, addictions, etc., etc., etc. Tell me about the Three of Cups reverse. It's anything that interferes. Five of Pentacles reverse. Hmm. Ace of Cups at the bottom. It's almost like this person is trying to recover something with the Five of Pentacles reverse. Maybe a legal situation or perhaps they're trying to restore balance in a situation here uh, due to love. Maybe that's what they're trying to do with this offer. Just make something right again. But why is this moon is almost like they're doing this in secret or they're not communicating about this. Or perhaps they're confused about how this is going to work out. Maybe they have doubts. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Wow, Ten of Pentacles. So this burden is this situation. It could be a financial situation, a long-term commitment. It could be a family. Um, tell me more about the Ten of Wands. Three, wow, this definitely third party situation here. Could also be that this person's focused on healing something, but why would that be a burden? Can I get one more please for this 10 of wands? You got a lot of tens here, I have a 10 up here. Three tens down here on your person's side. This is all about completion, cycles ending, Endings happening here. Culmination of something. Tell me about the Ten of Wands, please. The Magician Reverse. Perhaps this person is trying to manifest something here. And I have the Two of Cups. So the Ace of Cups, Two of Cups now. I feel like whatever your person is working on, um, it, they're motivated by love, by a partnership. By emotion. Maybe they've been trying to manifest something with a third party energy or manifest uh, the healing of something. Um, I don't think that's working out for them. Why is this magician reverse? Four of swords reverse. Yeah, they're trying to make a move here, trying to, to to take action, but I have the Four of Swords here, so I'm getting the sense of like what's, you know, I have opposites here. Opposites on your side, opposites on your person's side. So I'm just, 
I'm getting the sense that, oh, you have the Ten of Cups over here as well. I'm getting the sense that there's something going on here where what someone is motivated by or what someone, the idea that someone has Okay, so there's two different ways. Either an idea that someone has, a dream that someone has, cannot be realized, or they're pretending or putting on some sort of a facade, but underneath it's not really real. Let's see. Let's see what's going on in this connection here. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles reverse real quick. Why is the Ten of Pentacles reverse? Seven, seven of, Pen of Swords reverse and the Queen of Wands. So this is someone taking some sort of action that I feel they're going to either get caught taking this action or something's coming to the light here. I feel like that's what you're figuring out on this side, the High Priestess reverse. You caught this person doing something or you realize something about this person. The Seven of Swords reverse is when you see someone very clearly. Have the lovers at the bottom you could be dealing with a gemini or this is about some sort of a partnership here whatever this person got caught doing tell me about the hangman reverse i feel like this might be you with the hangman reverse or you're thinking about this um wow the wheel of fortune some sort of change opportunity divine timing why is the hangman reverse? The lovers again. This is about a choice, a choice and partner. Yeah, I have the three of pentacles at the bottom. Who to choose? You know, in this in this party of three, <laughs> someone needs to make a decision here. Tell me more about the hangman reverse. Deception. Bad communication once again. It's almost like someone is um someone's telling you something about a choice in partner. I don't think that's true. Or perhaps what someone's imagining, it's not, you know, what someone thinks is gonna happen is not going to happen. It's almost like the energy that I'm getting here, it's almost like someone thinks that a Wheel of Fortune will change everything around, but I don't think it will. I think the, you know, in the wheel, by the way, this is a situation where you are giving an opportunity, but it's up to you to take it. The Wheel of Fortune does not force itself on anybody. It's not something that happens despite ourselves, right? Like we're not just standing there and things magically happen to us when we're not making any sort of action or decisions or anything like that. Like that's not how it works. So I feel like this might be a situation where someone does not take an opportunity or does not make the most of a, a change in the circumstances. And it has to do with some sort of partnership. Tell me about, the, like instead of doing something, like there's this Four of Swords reverse and the Knight of Swords reverse, not really being clear or honest about it. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Maybe they're just not really talking of wands yeah you see it's almost like they're thinking about acting they're thinking about reflecting on acting or making some sort of uh, decision or going after something aries leo sagittarius energy there this could be about a return or perhaps they're unable to leave a situation because i have the four of swords here six of pentacles reversed It's just not balanced. It's not fair. Three of Wands. More waiting. It's like someone's hesitating, even though like this this could be what they want. They could want to um, return from a situ. They could want to return to you or leave a situation in order to restore balance. But they're not doing it. They're waiting. They're not actually taking some sort of action here. And that's why I feel like you, in your mind, yeah, they might be waiting on ending something, Scorpio energy with the death card, like this is a difficult decision, and maybe they're hesitating. And I feel like in your side, Aries, you're wondering like how much longer can you wait or be in this situation? 
Tell me about the Knight of Swords reverse. Why is the Knight of Swords reverse? Page of Swords. This is communication. That's, wow. The Tower. Eight of Swords and the Fool. 